All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Um, we, we have quite the um, crap stir of a subject today. And it's no thanks to my video that I posted earlier in the day. Yeah, you're getting a two-video day, guys, uh, courtesy of Blue Ridge Silverhound. But I had done my, um, what, what I refer to as my Blue Ridge High Rollers video. I do it once a month, and uh, it, it's not for everyone, you know. I, and that's readily apparent just based off of the view count, based off of this video, compared to some of my other videos. But I still like doing it. Because um, it truly is a marvel to be able to see some of these high-end coins that come up on the auction circuit, especially through eBay, all right? Um, some people say that, you know, it's a venue that is unworthy of some of the most elite coins. Yet, day in and day out, ladies and gentlemen, we continue to see some pretty impressive sales on the secondary market. But this morning... I had no idea that I would be, I, I probably received about a good dozen emails and a lot of them were really interested in one specific coin that I talked about today. And that's going to be this crazy America the Beautiful uh, was an American Memorial um, Discovery Quarter. Um, that is a discovery piece for DDO number one. Um, I call it the Michigan National Parks Quarters little brother. Uh, but a lot of the questions revolving around this incredible coin that sold for, well, life-changing money. I mean, more than surprising. This, this goes on record to being the most valuable, the most expensive recorded sale of not only a statehood quarter, but also a national park ETB quarter on record. And it happened here in the month of March, 2021. Book it, Dano. That's right. <laughs> so uh, what I normally do is I, I, I go into completed sales, sold sales, like it, like you see on screen here on eBay. And, you know, you, you identify all of the coins that have sold for the previous month. So, you know, the big one, of course, is that 34S that I talked about, and that's in there. It's actually the number one coin in the last 90 days um, in terms of overall um, um, generation of cash, cash flow, $87,500. But the number five coin in all of this, yeah, there it is. NGC Discovery Coin 2019P American Memorial Park DDO. 001 doubled die quarter sold for fifty thousand dollars. Um, and the real question, and everybody's asking, is that a legit sale? Like, you know, is that how every discovery coin sells for? You know, what's the big deal? You know, I, I think I found like two or three of these, and um. I thought about it and thought about it, thought about it again. I'm like, wait a minute, do I own one of those? And uh, I just don't know it. No, I don't. I surely do not own a DDO number one for the Mariana Islands or Mariana Islands National Park quarter. But there it is. Five with a whole bunch of trailing zeros behind it. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a polarizing figure dollar amount to, to see. On the completed sales page, especially, uh, you know, the amount of money that's that's tied to an item. And you look at it and you're like, wait a minute. That's a brand new freaking quarter right there. So, let's go ahead and click on this puppy. Because obviously, some of you are going to ask, well, you know, is a legit sale? Has it been relisted? Well, I can tell you this right now. It has not been relisted. I've checked and double checked, triple checked, quadruple checked. I've even quintupled checked this listing to see if it, if it's back on eBay and it's not this this was a sale on the 22nd of March so it's 2 weeks old and the seller is somewhat of a newbie you know under 100 feedback and um uh it appears to be you know a straight up buy it now listing you know that 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 someone really liked and they bought it 
what I really wanted to do while I have you guys on here is to see if the buyer had put feedback on this purchase. Could possibly be. You never know. Um, no. Nope. As a matter of fact, this, this individual had sold five items. It looks like they're all coins within the past year. All right. So not saying that that raises any sort of red flags at all. I mean, this could be a legit sale. I mean, it does say discovery coin. And for those of you that are not familiar with what this looks like, here's kind of like a blow up of some of the doubling diagnostics of the coin. Um, you can see some of the doubling here in ERTY of Liberty. Um, you do have a lot of um, uh, die deterioration on quarter dollar. And then this is the big one right here. The motto, In God We Trust, features some of the strongest doubling. That The only thing that rivals closest to it in this series is that 2018 P Michigan National Park quarter. Because the doubling is really similar. Now, I've seen a few of these sold over the course of the last, like, year. All right? So, keep in mind, this is a 2019 quarter. Um, while it's relatively new within the last two years, I mean, it has been out two years. And uh, from what I can recall, this coin with this DDO on it... Um, has sold for between like 30 and 50 bucks. So, I mean, it's a relatively uh, note, noteworthy type of double to die in all senses of the word. Um, and plus it's got all sorts of weird stuff happening. I mean, you see this, uh, this die deterioration and all this stuff right here on quarter dollar. I mean, that's weird. Even into the mint mark out of all places. But this is the coin that, um, that, that, it has the dubious distinction of being the most expensive national park quarter uh, up to date, $50,000. And until it gets relisted or some, or some other shenanigans are going on, we're just going to assume that this is a legit sale. Now, some of you probably won't like that, but, um, you know, it, it's, uh, you, you know, they, this person is... is uh, I can't even think of the words. Um, they, they haven't been proven guilty yet of a false sale. Um, you know, two-week-old you know, listing. I, I mean, it is intriguing. Um, but the, this coin right here, it, you know, it, it's really hard to say if it's worth that kind of money. Um, now, as far as doubled dies on modern coins go, I mean, it's really... It's really a lot more different than, say, a double die that we used to experience back in, say, the 60s or the 50s. You know, the 55 double to die, the class one or two or whatever it is, um, doesn't doesn't look anything like the modern day double to die, especially with the, the way that these coins are produced nowadays, you know, with the the, uh, the single squeeze hub action. Um, which, as you guys know, okay, the, the technology is is a game changer. And the, the way that, you know, coins are being produced um, are a little bit more different. And, uh, you know, you don't get the, the same traditional double to dies like we used to see probably as recently as 95. Um, and, you know, it, it's just, it's crazy to me that a coin like this would get scooped up for 50K. That's brand new car money. Um, but, you know, I guess to each their own. Now, the real question is, how much are the subsequent coins that are not discovery pieces worth? Okay, now I had identified, based off of previous auction records, that this particular variety has sold for between $30 and $50. Okay, that's kind of a big deal. Um, that's usually a lot more than some of the other types of double dies that we've seen on, like, the Shield Sense and on Jefferson Nichols. Uh, Jefferson Nickel double dies are actually a lot more common if you're there on the East Coast um, than not, all right? So, you know, they, there's a number of different types of double dies, but this one right here, for the most part, affects a lot of the letters and some of the design devices of the obverse of the coin. Um, and, you know, uh, here's the tricky part. 
In the last 90 days, there have been no other recorded sales of any other DDO number ones. Um, let alone, there are no listings available for this coin. So, it could quite possibly be a rarity. Uh, I remember seeing maybe one or two in the last 12 months. And that says a lot. Uh, especially for a coin in which many millions were made. And you could imagine that there's got to be, you know, a few hundred, a few thousand of these ddo number ones floating around out there so um i just went ahead and you know did another ebay search for 2019 american memorial double to die and it's come up with four results but it's not showing the ddo number one i looked at this one for 27.99 or best offer but it doesn't match not even close i would say this one has more die deterioration doubling than it actually has uh, actual hub doubling or whatever. Um, but even if I change this out to DDO, you know, because people like to um, abbreviate that, there's that same one right there. If we went into completed sales, sold sold items, there's that monster $50,000 one. And then these two right here are DDRs, or at least that's how it's pitched. Um these are not the same coins as this one singular coin that sold for 50k. So this is really interesting. I was beginning to doubt on whether or whether or not this coin was legitimately worth fifty thousand dollars, but after seeing um, the rarity of the thing and uh, rarity in terms of there's no really solid foundation of completed auction sales. Uh, for me to make an argument otherwise that this coin could possibly be worth a lot of money um kind of it kind of reminds me of the 2009d uh washington dc ddr quarter yeah that one uh that one's insane that's a coin that has if one shows up in auction it's gonna go for five grand um and it's not even a discovery coin so and that one's a true rarity. I mean, there's only a few. There's a handful of those that exist and that have subsequently been graded by PCGS or NGC. So off of sold listings, there are nothing. There's nothing to be had. As a matter of fact, it gets to a point where it says results matching fewer words. That means that's the end. There are no more. And then they, they filter it, you know, with other things like, oh, this is a 2019 West Point Um American Memorial Park quarter. And then that's all you see is West Point quarters up and down. Which, by the way, have you guys seen how much these things are selling for lately? $42 off the rip uh, for uncertified coins. What did I guys tell you? That these coins are starting to shoot upwards. Um, that is crazy. I might actually do another video about the... West Point 2019 quarters because this is a I noticed this a few days ago. Remember this when things were go, going tough and people were getting tired of the West Point 2019s. You know what happened? It started to erode on the price of these things. It got down to as low as like six to eight dollars um, at the very beginning of 2020. This was when the U.S. Mint had made an announcement that they were going to inject uh, these new West Point quarters for 2020 with a V75 Privy Mark. And they, they got everybody up in arms. And then they began to sell off a lot of their 2019 West Points because they needed more money to go out and buy boxes of the 2020s to find stuff like this. So this is all quite interesting. Um this is really um, a, a mistake that we even came across the 2019 West Point quarter conversation. Uh, but just looking at, at these sales from the last week, last few days, that's quite interesting. So stay tuned for that video. I think I'm going to do that here in the next few days. Um, only because, it, you know, the, the market movement uh, of those particular dates of coins um warrants a conversation but getting back to this ddo number one quarter there's no other examples out there um so the justification of the fifty thousand dollars for this discovery coin 
I'm afraid to say it, might actually be on par with the market value because there are no other examples other than the Discovery coin. And as long as there are no other examples in the marketplace, here's the issue. That makes the Discovery coin, the one and only sole listing on eBay, a unique rarity. That's kind of like a double standard, right? Unique rarity. And it's like it's either unique or rare. You know, unique means there's one. Well, as far as discovery coins go, unique is definitely the word to use. Uh, but the actual DDO, the other examples that aren't discovery coins, are rare based off of my data and my research. There's just none to be found out there. So, with all things considered, and I almost hate to say this, the 2019 American Memorial DDO number one is far and away a much more rare a variety than the 2018 P Michigan quarter of the same double to die. It's got the same, I, I think it's like a, a, a class eight or nine or something like that of double to die for both of those. And there's, there's some out there of the Michigan that you could go and buy right now for like 20 bucks or less. But this one coin is kind of a mystery. And what I would personally do, and you can take it for what it is, is to keep an eye out for the market. Keep an eye out for other examples of this DDO number one. If you feel compelled to buy an example for yourself, all right, keep in mind the rarity factor of this coin. The fact that NGC recognizes this particular variety says a lot. Uh, I don't think PCGS grades things like these because they're not in the cherry pickers guide or anything. So it's either NGC with a letter or annex, uh, or maybe even some of the other ones like uh, SEGS or something. Um, I figure we should just jump onto the PCGS website because I, I'm curious to see if they're, you know, I mean, first of all, 2010 to 2021, the ATB quarters officially ends this year. And, um, the pops are just all over the place, but the prices are starting to creep up for some of the highest graded coins. Like, look at this thing, 2012 D El Yunque National Park. You remember that one with the uh, the parrots on there? That was actually a very pretty coin. Immense State 69, that is a $3,500 coin. All right, Acadia. That was the one that I highlighted, what, last week? Um, the top end example sold for like four grand or something like that. So these 2012 quarters um, are worth quite a bit of money uh, because the vintages are way low on them. But if we went down to page two, of course, we got to go to page two first. But if we went to the American Memorial Park right here, you could see there's no plus. Okay, when there's a plus, that means there is some sort of other designation, like a variety. Uh, if we went here to this one, to West Point, first week of discovery, early find, that's when they were doing the promotions. Um, but that's it. it. It's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. So if I, were, if I were you guys and you saw a DDO number one come up for auction and it's a relatively affordable example, like IE under a hundred bucks, I would probably buy one because if I can come across it, I am going to buy it. Um, if and only if I could, you know, uh, attribute it correctly to the DDO number one, uh, because there are some coins that people just throw up on there and say that it is this or that. And it turns out it's just not the case. So it's the pictured rocks, uh, which I believe is the Michigan. That's the Michigan quarter with the DDO number one on there as well. But it's it's a similar class of doubling uh, that you see on In God We Trust and Liberty, like the last three, four letters of Liberty. And um, man, you put them like side by side. They're like identical. What... This coin does not have, compared to the um, American Memorial, is that really gnarly dye deterioration that you see above quarter dollar. All right, so that's that. I really wanted to talk about that and kind of address it because I know it's a big deal because that's a lot of money. That That is, 
that is a uh, a newsworthy type of scenario that we've come across uh unintentionally because it was this was all this all came about as a result of my high rollers video but you guys needed extra elaboration on something like this because first and foremost don't think that you could go out there and find one of these quarters and automatically think it's worth 10 15 20 grand because the discovery coin sold for 50 all right I'm not 100% sure that that's a solid sale. And you guys shouldn't think that way either. Until we get some sort of confirmation, I would say everything is still up in the air. But also based off of some of the general fact finding that I've been doing of that coin, there has been maybe one or two examples that have sold in the last 12 months. I mean, that in itself tells you that it is a rarity. And we should certainly you know, to be on the lookout for something like that, because it could very well be the modern rendition of a 69 S double die or that 92 cam, you know, a very, um, or that 2009 D double die reverse Washington DC territory quarter. Um, this American, um, Memorial DDO number one, I think is iconic enough that it could be the modern rendition of some, of the marquee varieties that we've seen in the last 50 years. So that's what I wanted to talk about. Uh, just to let you guys know that there is some possibility that this coin is worth a lot of money. Um, but that's it. Uh, crazy. I, I, mean, I mean, as you can tell, I'm, I'm a little bit perplexed and puzzled by what to say about the coin. Um, because it's there in concrete, you know, fashion on eBay. It sold for $50,000. Someone bought it and a transaction happened. Whether or not it gets wound back or whatever the case may be, I can tell you this. It's a very rare variety um, that we don't see that often. You guys know me. I'm the pulse of things that sell on the aftermarket or on the market rather for some of these coins. When something comes up or it's previewed for a future auction, you better believe that I know my stuff and I, I am there. I'm like the annoying, um, uh, you know, I, I'm like an annoying part of the press, you know, that sit there with a microphone in your face trying to get all the, the facts and details. Um, but yeah, that that's going to do it. Pretty crazy. Now you guys might have a reason to actually search quarters because this coin is bonkers. I like the double die. There's a lot of really cool fascinating things about that particular coin that I want to do more research on. And uh, I would encourage you guys to uh, to do the same. If you see something very interesting with this topic, I, I would be remiss to join you in some of the fact finding of this particular quarter. But that's going to go ahead and do it for this evening. Sorry to, you know, monopolize your 20 minutes of time this evening. Uh, go back and hang out with your family. I'm your host, Sean. With Blue Ridge Silverhound, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that good old bell for instant notifies. And Coinaholics, we are discovering together. Go out there and find yourself a $50,000 coin. Be famous, if you know what I mean, right?